Today I'm gonna to be looking at a book that I'm really excited to finally have. The Creature Codex by Kobold Press. Hey guys, welcome back to Black Magic Craft. It is Tuesday and that means it's reviews day. And today I'm really excited about this one. We're gonna be looking at the Creature Codex from Kobold Press. This is the follow-up to their highly successful Tome of Beasts, which you may know if you saw my video review of that book, it was one of my favorites, if not my favorite supplemental book for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. So of course, I'm really excited to finally have this one and take a look at it with you guys. Now, Kobold Press did not sponsor this video. However, I wanna let you know that they did send me this book and a few other goodies for review purposes. Let's crack this bad boy open and take a look. So here it is, the Creature Codex by Kobold Press. This is a mighty, mighty tome, 424 pages of new original monsters to use in your fifth edition game. Basically the same size as the first one, the Tome of Beasts, about double the size, if not a little bit bigger, than Wizards of the Coast Monster Manual. Now that I find actually interesting because let's talk about price for a second. The Monster Manual's MSRP is $49.95 USD. Creature Codex, which is more than twice the size, MSRP $49.99. So they are the same price, but you get a lot more with this one. However, we all know MSRPs are pretty irrelevant when it comes to buying books. It What really matters is the actual price you end up paying. At the time of filming this video, this book is available on amazon.com for $38 USD, so below MSRP, and amazon.ca for $59 Canadian, which equals about $45 USD, so slightly below MSRP, but not much. There is also a digital PDF version available from drivethroughrpg.com for $30. And I will put links to all of that stuff in the video description. I should also mention that you can buy this book directly on the Kobold Press website. However, the hardcover price is the full $49 MSRP price. They have the PDF available for 30 bucks, same as drive-through. But the reason you might want to get it from there is if you want both the hardcover and the PDF, they have a nice bundle where you can get both for $55. So the cheapest option is Amazon unless you want to get the bundle pricing for both hard copy and digital copy. So much like the Tome of Beasts, this book is full of original monsters to use in your 5th edition game. There is a wide variety of types of monsters and unique ideas within this book that could be placed in any campaign setting. Some of the things in this book are specific to the Kobold Press world of Midgard. There's a few abilities and languages and whatnot that are designed around that setting, but really these monsters can be used absolutely anywhere. So at the beginning of the book here, you have all of the monsters arranged in the table of contents alphabetically, and that's great. But what's really, really nice, this is an improvement over the Tome of Beasts. At the back, in the Tome of Beasts, you had the creatures listed by challenge rating, which is really nice. And they've done that same thing again here, but they've also added two other listings, which are really fabulous. One is arranging creatures by type so celestial construct dragon i mean even ooze if you want oozes and you want to look up all the oozes in this book right there and this is really really handy because i know when i'm designing encounters i have an idea of theme I, you know i want something that's appropriate and i really wish i could just look at all of the undead creatures and previously there was no easy way to do that now they are listed by type and that is a massive improvement they also included a listing categorizing the creatures by terrain type. So all of the creatures, you know, for Arctic, Badlands, Desert, Coastal, Grasslands, whatever, another great resource for helping you find the right monster for your particular session. The book is almost entirely just pages of monsters. There is a section at the back that is an NPC codex. So it is NPCs that are fully statted out that can be really useful 
for you know interesting encounters or for bosses and whatnot. And one thing that's really neat to me personally is that one of these NPCs, the Void Racked Mage, was actually created by a Black Magic Craft Fellowship member. When they did this Kickstarter for this book, there was the opportunity for the community to submit their own designs and some of them got used. One of them is this Void Racked Mage that was created by one of my Patreon supporters and it was discussed and play tested by some of the other fellowship members. So that's really exciting and interesting to me personally, but probably not much to you. When opening this book, my first impressions were that it was essentially the same print quality as the original Tome of Beasts, which as I said in that review, is very, very high quality. It's got full color printing, really nice matte paper, nice hardcover. It, the binding is really good. It's not gonna fall apart. It is a well-constructed book. The Tome of Beast was, and this is too. I assume they used the same printer. But I did notice that there was some slight changes in the layout and graphic design that I think is an improvement. So in the Tome of Beasts, one thing about it is that the layout was a little bit busy. They did this graphic design effect where they take the artwork, blow it up, and reduce the opacity in the background to make the pages look interesting. But in my opinion, that actually just makes it a little bit more busy and cluttered. It doesn't really detract from reading, but it does make it busier. And even stuff like the patterns here on the page tops, there's a lot going on and it's kind of busy. In the Creature Codex, they have cleaned it up a little bit. They've gotten rid of the background image. So to me, I like that better. It's a little bit cleaner. Even these headings here are just a simple color and overall just a bit simpler of a layout, a little bit more elegant. I personally prefer this cover and not even by a little bit. I always found that this cover seemed to be more suited for something like a player's handbook. It didn't look like a Tome of Beast to me. It didn't look like a monster manual. Whereas this one, this artwork screams, book full of monsters, I love it, it looks great. Kind of irrelevant to the use of this product, but I have to say I really love this aesthetic a lot more. Just like the Tome of Beasts, every single monster that is in this book has original artwork for it. Every single one of them. That is hundreds and hundreds of pieces of unique artwork, which I think is so great. They also have all that artwork available as pawns that you can buy if you wanna use those and if you don't have the right minis. The content of the book, the creature stats, is the same as the Tome of Beasts. It uses the familiar formatting of the Monster Manual from 5th edition, so it's very familiar to anyone who's been running that system. Easy to follow, information, where you want it, where you need it, no problem there. There's also in each monster a little descriptive text where you can read it out loud to the players if you want, or just use it to get an idea of what the thing looks like. There's also some background lore information of each monster to kind of help you out when running the creature in an encounter. A lot of these monsters, and I think this is my favorite thing about both these books, is that they have a lot of unique original abilities. And if you have a table of players that have been playing D&D for years, when you throw generic monsters at them tr like a troll, they just know instinctually what it is and what the abilities are. And it's almost impossible for them not to mate a game even if they don't want to. Whereas with this book, there's so many bizarre, unique, original monsters that they definitely will have no idea what it is. And the abilities and actions will definitely catch them off guard. The downside to that, and the only real complaint I've ever seen about the Tome of Beasts, is that all of these new abilities are a lot harder to predict how they will play out in a game, which makes the challenge rating harder to lock in. The challenge rating in Tome of Beasts, some people say, was off. And I'm gonna guess that it's probably similar in, in this book because there's just no way that they could play test all of this stuff extensively enough to get that challenge rating exactly right like the Wizards of the Coast Monster Manual. 
That being said, the challenge rating, even in the monster manual, is never really that accurate. It's so situational. It really depends what kind of DM you are. If you're the type of DM that runs monsters exactly as written, follows every stat and ability and action to the letter, and you create your encounters based on CR rating alone, and you don't adjust any difficulty during the encounter, you might find that some of these end up being a bigger challenge than you expected. So I would use some caution when you know assessing the CR rating. Personally, I don't use CR that much. I look at the CR rating and I think of it as easy, medium, hard, or impossible. I break it up into four categories at a glance just to give me an idea of how hard things are. I dial and adjust my difficulty of encounter to the situation. That's just the way I DM, that's the way a lot of people DM. If you're like that, then that skewed CR rating won't matter whatsoever. But a, a warning for those of you who do look at it and use it kind of as fact. Overall, I love this book. Just like I love Tome of Beasts, I love this book. I think the value for the price is exceptionally good. You get more information and more monsters than you could ever really need for a very reasonable price. Uh, you, I, I don't think you can argue that this book has great value when comparing it to something like the regular Monster Manual. For me personally, I like the fact that every page essentially is just a monster and that's what it is. There's not all this secondary information. Some people like that in the Wizards of the Coast supplement. I don't mind it, I like it too, but I do like the idea of having a book just loaded full of monsters. Do you need this book? Not really. You probably also don't need the Tome of Beast, but if you wanna add a lot of inspiration to your game prep, you want lots of cool ideas and monsters and abilities, then this is definitely a good purchase. Like a lot of supplemental material, this is the kind of thing you're gonna buy because you want it and you enjoy it and you find it interesting, not necessarily because you actually need it to run a game. Just like the Tome of Beasts, they also produced the uh, Creature Codex Pawns. These are individual pawns with the artwork from the book, so you can use these at your game table. I haven't opened this bad boy up. I'm gonna review it separately later as well as this here, this Creature Codex Layers, another interesting supplement that goes along with it, full of layers and maps, but I'm gonna give this its own review at a later date, but I wanna show it to you in case you wanna pick up all of them together in one big bundle. So I'm gonna put links in the video description below to all of this stuff where you can pick it up. I'm also gonna put links uh, to some new t-shirts that I have available. If you wanna help support the channel and rock the Black Magic Craft logo, you can do so. I got two new designs that you can pick up. And again, links in the video description. What did you guys think of this for those of you that already have it? Are there any other people out there who contributed to this? Do you have your own original monster in this book from the Kickstarter? Let me know. I'd love to take a look at that one in detail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section below. And I will see you again on Friday for the next build. Cheers.